There's one vaccine with nearly 50 years of proven safety that may strengthen the immune response to viral infections, possibly protecting people from COVID-19. It's the vaccine for measles, mumps, and rubella, the MMR vaccine, already given safely to hundreds of millions of people around the world. St. Louis healthcare workers are signing up for a clinical trial to see if the MMR vaccine could protect them against COVID-19. With the measles, mumps, rubella vaccine in Africa, um, children there were, were not dying from a whole host of other common infectious diseases like infectious diarrheal diseases. The mortality from that went way down. So we started to realize this is crazy. You give a vaccine for measles, mumps and rubella and you have all of these benefits for a range of other infectious diseases. Dr. Michael Avedon is one of the principal investigators for an international MMR vaccine clinical trial. Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis is the clinical coordinating center for the MMR vaccine trial, enrolling up to 30,000 healthcare workers globally. Dr. Avedon and co-investigator Dr. Mary Politi are evaluating whether the MMR vaccine can truly protect against COVID-19, decreasing the number of infections and severity of infections. The research team suggests the MMR vaccine could broadly boost an individual's immunity, preventing infection from SARS-CoV-2 for a limited period. This is because the vaccine carries small amounts of the live viruses that could train the body's immune system to fight multiple pathogens. If I say to you now, I'm going to run around Forest Park. If I'd been training to run around Forest Park for a few weeks before, I would do much better running around Forest Park now. We've similarly discovered that the immune system of the body actually does well when it's trained to respond to infections. Where we've discovered this in particular is in relation to weakened organisms that are used as vaccines. The immunity to the specific viruses of measles, mumps, and rubella lasts a long time, hopefully a lifetime. Um, but to other viruses and other pathogens that you may be exposed to, um, that immune response is probably months to years. We don't know exactly how long. Another reason the MMR vaccine may be effective is the similarities between the weakened viruses to the vaccine and the SARS-CoV-2 virus that causes COVID-19. Fusion proteins on the measles and rubella viruses, especially when they bind to our cells, look really similar structurally to the spike protein of the SARS coronavirus 2, which causes COVID-19. So when we form antibodies to the measles, mumps, and rubella um, viruses in the vaccine, it is possible that those antibodies might recognize as well the SARS coronavirus 2. So we got really excited about MMR because we think there are two key mechanisms by which the MMR vaccine might help in the fight against um, this particular coronavirus. For example, a study just came out from the Mayo Clinic. They looked at about 140,000 patients who were tested for SARS coronavirus 2. And then they looked at these people and they looked at their vaccination history. And they found that, for example, with the MMR vaccine, going back one year, two years, and five years, there was a consistent decrease in risk of about 50% for those who had the MMR vaccine. So if you had the MMR vaccine, their data, now these are data looking backwards, but their data seemed to suggest that it decreased your risk of having SARS coronavirus 2 or COVID-19 by about 50%. What are the benefits of having a study designed around frontline healthcare workers? We wanted to make sure we were preserving the um, people who would take care of everybody who was getting sick with SARS coronavirus. By focusing on people who are regularly exposed, we then get our data in a faster way. Because it is a study, participants won't know if they're getting the vaccine or a placebo. Generally, people in the U.S. have already had the vaccinations as children. Another booster would be safe and worth a shot, especially because it's not known when a COVID-19 vaccine could be available for everyone. I know there's a lot of excitement about 
vaccines for SARS coronavirus 2, but there are no guarantees that any of them will work. Even if they work, we don't know for how long they will work. And we don't know how many people will get the vaccines. It's really challenging to get a new vaccine all around the world. Let's not put all our eggs in one basket. There are lots of promising things that we should be looking at. And one of those is this approach of trained immunity and these live attenuated vaccines. We can administer it very rapidly at low cost to many countries that have it available to them. Each participant will be followed for five months, and the entire trial is expected to last about a year. Already having proven safety, if MMR works, it may become an available option sooner rather than later. It's not something that needs to be um, rolled out the same way that the SARS coronavirus uh, vaccines need to be rolled out. When you're doing a vaccine that's already been administered to hundreds of millions of people for 50 years, we don't have safety concerns with the MMR. So once you show efficacy, you can roll it out. Are there some other approved vaccines that scientists are also looking into for protection? We looked at oral polio vaccine, BCG vaccine, which is given in a lot of countries internationally, not necessarily here. Um, even, we even looked at um, chickenpox or shingles vaccine which are all live attenuated or weakened vaccines. But the MMR had um, very, very strong data. It's um, very, very low risk. It's um, inexpensive and widely available in many countries. Um, so we focused on that first, but that doesn't mean that other studies or even our own study can't adapt later if there's new evidence or new data that emerges that some of these may be effective. When it comes to getting your scheduled vaccines, they say there is no reason to delay. A lot of people, because of COVID-19, have not got vaccines that they really, really do need to get, whether it's influenza, whether it's, it's measles, mumps and rubella for children, or chicken pox, or all sorts of other things. Please, people must get vaccinated. There's no reason, there is zero reason not to get vaccines that are indicated for you because of COVID-19. That's not true. In, on the contrary, it is all the more priority to get these vaccines because if you get measles and COVID-19, or if you get influenza, and COVID-19, that's a big, big problem. Dr. Avedon says no one can go wrong with the approved vaccines, including MMR. If this trained immunity works with the MMR vaccine and you give it to somebody who doesn't generally mount a brisk immune response, and then a month later you give them a SARS coronavirus 2 vaccine, that SARS coronavirus 2 vaccine could work better than it would have worked if they hadn't got the MMR vaccine before because their immune response will be trained by having received the MMR vaccine. The other benefit is that it might bolster your ability to fight infections in general. So for example, if you get the MMR vaccine, it might not just help you against COVID-19 and SARS coronavirus 2, it might also help you against influenza or respiratory syncytial virus, or other infections that are common, especially in winter. So that could be another really useful benefit. That if this works, we are potentially defining an, a useful early intervention for future pandemics, which will strike our planet. And we need to have plans in place for future pandemics. And we're hoping that this will be one of them. And as a general point, we're going to provide new knowledge and information in the growing field of adult vaccinology. So when could vaccines be useful when administered to adults? So I try to distill for you, if this really works in the best possible way, what are all the benefits that might accrue?